All right, welcome back to PyCSE. Today I want to talk about iteration in Python and all of the things that could mean. The standard way we think of iteration is the for loop or the while loop, but there are a couple of other things that you should learn about in Python, like list comprehensions, set comp or other kinds of comprehensions, and uh, some composite iterables and some functional approaches to iteration that I'll show you and also how to use NumPy arrays and linear algebra. So the, the standard um, way to write a loop in, in Python is the for loop. And it, it looks something like for variable in something that's iterable, do something with the variable. And you can have nested conditions and break out of the loop uh, for that. And there are a lot of uh, things that you can um, use for an iterable. It can be a list. It can be a range of numbers. Uh, many things in Python have a concept of, of being iterable. There are some uh, helpful things that I call composite iterables, like enumerate to where you want to get the index and a variable over some iterable list. That's pretty helpful. And sometimes you want to loop over multiple lists. So let's say you want to iterate over X and Y, then zip is the, uh, the thing that will work for you there. So you can get zero and two, one and three, two and four, and so forth. The while loop is a little bit different. Um, the while loop runs as long as some condition is true. And so you can have uh, a condition that you test for, and we'll talk about conditionals another day, um, but if, if the condition is true, the body runs, and if it's not, then it executes the else step, um, which is optional, but uh, interesting that it, that it exists. All right, comprehensions are a shorthand way of writing um, a list. So here we can say, um, you know, some expression with, ver with var, for var in some iterable, and there are list comprehensions and other comprehensions, so we can make... Um, let's see, here's a set comprehension, here's a dictionary comprehension, and they're just really shorthand ways of, of writing those. Now a couple of advanced iteration topics we go over are how to break out of nested loops. So the break statement only breaks out of uh, a single loop, and so if you're nested you have to do something clever, and we talk about a couple of ways uh, to do that that allow you to either use a flag variable or a function and return from it, or you can raise an exception and catch it. We also cover conditional statements in comprehensions. So we can have uh, a conditional statement here that um, is like a conditional statement in a loop. And we talk a little bit about how to use iterations with NumPy array operations. So for example, instead of looping over all of these numbers, to accumulate a sum, we can do np.sum on the whole thing, and it automatically aggregates uh, all of those. Even a, a dot product is a, a form of iteration where it is the sum of a sub i times b sub i. And so instead of writing this as a loop where you accumulate that, we can just literally do a dot product uh, and avoid it. And last, I talk about a functional programming approach to iteration. This is a uh, set of functions in Python called map, filter, and reduce, um, where map is like a for loop that iterates over each element in something. Uh, filter is like a uh, conditional statement that selects elements based on some predicate function and reduces an accumulator um, that is sometimes helpful. So we could, for example, uh, have a map that applies this function to each element of a list, and that's kind of like a NumPy array squared, um, or it's equivalent to this list comprehension. And with filter, you can, uh, you can choose to uh, filter a list, say, by this function, wherever this function is true, then you get all the even numbers, and you can use uh, reduce as a, a different way of aggregating like a sum or something. And then iterTools is a library that's built into Python that has a couple of, of interesting uh, features that, uh, that you might find helpful uh, for that. Okay, so that is the summary of the iteration in Python booklet, and I uh, hope you find it useful. You can find the link for the booklet in the video description. And if you, uh, if you like the video, go get the book. 
uh, subscribe to the channel and you'll find out when I release new videos and new books.